this is what actually is happening in the backstage for the short seller shorting GameStop and AMC. GameStop stock short sellers are not in comfortable position. Bront Capital's Amaltea Fund, which has short position in GameStop and other meme stocks, announced unsatisfactory Q1 results. The Amaltea Fund, created by Australia-based capital management firm Bront Capital, has a long and short strategy. On the short side of things, they have taken up positions betting against almost every major meme stocks, including GameStop and AMC. Do you think they make a lot of money shorting the stocks? I mean, look at this. Recently, the fund released the Q1 performance results to investors. Although the fund didn't do as badly as global markets in general, it fell 5.9%. And some of you might say, you know, they, they might invest in Peloton. They might invest in, in, in Facebook, Meta. They, they might lost money in so many different stocks on the market. But according to the data, according to the article, to the street, look at this. One of the main reasons behind Amaltea's lackluster performance was the meme stock rally in March. The fund specifically made a reference to its bearish GameStop position when discussing this rally. Uh, I think they were too shy to mention the rally that we saw with AMC going above 30 bucks. But something that definitely bothers me is that we all expecting as a result of the stock split that GameStop will be voting on June to be the end of the shorts, right? Uh, destroying each and every short position or short seller bet against them. This particular short seller actually embracing the stock split. Look at this. GameStop announced a stock split proposal which is to be voted on early June. Although a stock split theoretically adds no value to the company's fundamentals, according to Bront Capital, not accepting that stock split at value it's a recipe for losing money so they're actually embracing the stock split the idea over here is that in april institutional investors have so many losses so it's rarely occasionally to see that these losses are actually coming from the meme stocks right uh, they will say we know our long portfolio bleeded so much our high conviction plays bleeded so much. They're not going to say we lost tons of money trading against a bunch of kids on Reddit, right? But essentially, this is this is the real picture. Uh, seldom, very seldom, you will hear some of these guys actually talking about, you know, their wrong bets against some of these companies. Especially now, we need only the real numbers, right? <laughs> you don't want to look at the chart and, and try to, to evaluate where is the stock currently or where the stock is heading to. We're trying to evaluate only the real facts and numbers. Usually you can do that by judging what is already in the past, right? They lost reporting the quarter. Uh, they lost opening and managing their positions uh, for the last month, right? During the rallies. Fed meeting this week will bring even greater sell-offs, which again, doesn't mean nothing for me as an individual investor. But for these guys, it's a big thing, guys. Every time when Jerome Powell speaks or has a meeting, or it's planning to do something, it's a big pain in the stock market ass. So time is ticking away, but not for individual investor, in my opinion, guys. Uh, focus on the big picture, focus on what these guys' balance sheets and the reports are showing on the daily basis, on the monthly basis, on the quarterly basis. Uh, you cannot hide for a limited period of time if you lose money. Let me know how the balance sheet looks like in the other short sellers in the meme stocks. Subscribe to the channel guys, like this video and come back for more.